Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reads and I'm on the last one which is for the sign of Aries. Aries, please remember these readings are only general, they may not resonate with you. Um, it's just the way it is, it's not a personal reading, it's just a general feel of what the energies are out there. Um, but I do want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel and following me. It's beautiful that you're on board with me and I'm really grateful for that. Alrighty, I am using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot um, and I will pull you a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. This is lovely. So you've got here the um, Two of Cups coming out here. Now the Two of Cups is the card of soulmates. Now it's not necessarily always romantic. Sometimes it can be about uh, soulmates, uh, family members, friends, people you work with, but people you have a very strong bond with, people you see eye to eye with. Behind that I do have the Eight of Wands, which of course is the card of things moving very quickly, lots of messages coming over the airways. Um, Four of Cups here. Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, Nine of Cups. Okay, somebody's trying to make some sort of offer here. Something that, that is a wish come true, but somebody is not interested in what they have to offer. So even though they're opening up, and I feel like they believe this person is their soulmate, the other person isn't reciprocating. Um, they're not wanting to take the same way. So you could be making... Um, you could be making an offer to someone else or someone could be making an offer to you but for some unknown reason the offer isn't hitting the right space the right time the right shape i'm not sure but it's not exactly what you want the thing is the nine of cups is there which says to me perhaps you're just not looking at it in the right way so let's have a good look so we have the nine of swords coming out first and the nine of swords talks of sleepless nights stress anxiety tension um, being overwhelmed by your thinking okay and then we have the empress so you could be um, you could be overthinking some sort of situation where someone has either you've missed out an op opportunity at this time or something wasn't in the right place for you to accept this opportunity the empress is the card of like someone who is extremely ready to move forward in love but it also can be someone who wants to um, birth something new is ready to bring something new into the world and i feel like somehow or another you've missed some sort of opportunity with this person could be you've been dealing with a gemini libra or aquarius here um, and there's the lovers as well. So this is definitely about love. I feel like you've either been in love with someone or you've got someone in love with you that perhaps you do want some sort of connection to. But somehow or another, the timing doesn't seem to be right on this. Um, there's almost this feeling here that you either have cut this person out or you've moved away from this person, even though you're either in love with them or know that they're the right person for you. Let me just keep going with this here. Look, Six of Cups. So it's someone from your past here. Um, Hermit card. So you're going deep inside to have a look at this because you're trying to work out how to move forward here. There is a second chance or a rebirth with this. So if you feel you've missed out on it before, it's going to come round for you again. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness here with this Ten of Cups. Um, okay, Three of Cups coming in here. Which could be about celebration, but I'm always reluctant to jump at that in case it's third party. We do have the Magician here. Okay. I feel like perhaps this person came around to you when you were in another relationship or came around... Maybe you met this person when you were in a relationship, but now you've moved away from some sort of commitment here. You've moved, you moved away, and now you want something with this person. That's what it looks like here. So a soulmate coming in to make an, yeah. There was an offer made in the past, but I feel for some reason, even though this offer made you very happy, there was some reason you couldn't accept this offer at the time. Um, with the magician here, I'm thinking perhaps the offer didn't come 
when you were able to accept with the Three of Cups. So you may have met this person when you were in a relationship. You may have been married. Um, but whatever reason, you were really extremely disappointed here um, that you couldn't accept this offer because you saw this person as being like amazing, beautiful, like a goddess. And you weren't able to accept because I think you were in a different situation and, and it just wasn't the right thing to do. So you've sort of moved away from it. But there seems to have been this feeling that you regretted that decision. And I feel like something's happened now where you've either walked away from the relationship you were in or that relationship has broken down. You've closed out something here. And you now have the magician, which means that you are open to new offers um, and it looks to me like you're going to go after this offer now because you're being given a second chance here with someone from your past. Um, so it could have been that you were tied to someone else and now you're in the position to offer that person something here. You're, you're trying to manifest something back in from your past here to make the offer. Um, can't really tell you much more than that. It's a pretty straightforward reading, Aries. Like, it's not really hard to work that one out at all. There's been a couple of really complex ones today, but this one's very easy. This person is, it could be a twin flame here because I've got like the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Lover's card and the Empress. So I'm thinking this person is very, very significant to you. Even with the Magician here, this person had enormous significance, but you perhaps didn't um didn't accept their offer because you were in another situation or something you picked something else instead you may have gone with something else instead so the card we have here is round and round so it could be too that you've cycled with this person more than once and now you've realized they're the right person for you because sometimes that happens too so you could have gone around and you've got to know them in the meantime got to be friends with them or and had a much deeper relationship with them and now you're realizing they're the person for you so round and round says the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated cycles your challenge to break revisiting a pattern from a new perspective so that's about cycles too okay so the oracle's message the appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward the truth is that you are standing at a higher level looking down into your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and lessons learned. Now what I want to do is I want to read the relationship message too. Are you wondering how did I get here again? Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar. Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar but attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plans for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine as you get to do things again only differently this time for you learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you're aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. So definitely some sort of cycle here that you've been through and you've come back around to someone that you perhaps knew in your past or someone who made you an offer but you weren't really in the right place for the offer at the time. Thanks Aries, have a great week.